Hello YouTube, if you are kind of a guy who is not happy with the stock ROM but would like to try different ROMs on your OnePlus 3 and if you are a beginner, in this video I would like to point out some of the things that you should know if you are planning to flash any other ROMs. So first of all, to flash any ROM, your bootloader must be unlocked and it should be installed uh, the TWRP recovery that is a customer recovery so if you didn't do that one then I'll provide a link in the description which will show you how to unlock your bootloader as well as install the TWRP recovery and here in my phone I've unlocked the bootloader as well as uh, installed TWRP now I'm going to reboot to that TWRP so I'll uh, press reboot and then go to reboot to recovery So this TWRP recovery is used to take an Android backups as well as flash any files, other ROMs, many things we can do. So here you can see it's loaded into TWRP recovery. So before flashing any of the ROMs, you must take an Android backup of your current ROM. So there is an option called backup, you can click that one and then here it will ask for the multiple options like boot partition system partition as well as data partition these are the three partitions you should select so even if something goes wrong during the installation of new ROM you can always restore these backups and uh, you could save you can save your phone so you should take an Android backup and you, here you can give any names like uh, stock oxygen or something like that you can give and then you can swipe this one to take a backup of your current ROM so that is one thing and then if something goes wrong during the ROM flashing then you can always come back to TWRP and then you can do a restore from here so it will list all the backups here so if you can see I have one backup called stock ROM so I'll select that one and then select all the partitions and then I can restore it to save my phone so these are things you should do before um, so you should take a bandwidth backup before flashing any ROM Besides that, most of the ROMs will be having two files. One will be the ROM file, the other one will be the Google Apps file. So, when flashing that one, first you need to install the ROM file. Right after that, you need to flash the G Apps also. So, and besides that, it, and last one more thing that uh, it's good to do a wipe, like a, a normal wipe after installing the ROM so these are the things I would like to point out before you guys are installing the ROMs that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe for more